discipline is really powerful. Building discipline is one of the hardest things you can do. But being disciplined is one of the best things for developing any skill. I've talked about discipline in my three previous videos, but this one will focus more on habits and tricks that will help you stay disciplined longer and easier. First trick, try to reduce the friction. Between you and the action you want to do, try to reduce friction. The less steps or time it will take for you to get started, the more likely you will do it. Want to start running in the morning? Prepare your outfit, your shoes, your glass of water. So when you wake up, everything is ready and there is no need for you to go through your wardrobe and looking for what to wear. Everything is already set and done. No journaling, no meditation before it. Just brush your teeth put some sunscreen on, drink water and go. The quicker you are out, the higher chance you will do it. I know there is people that do everything that I just said not doing, like journal meditation, but those people already have set their routine and it's worked for them. But when you are just getting started, it is better to reduce the time in which you can create excuse why you shouldn't do it what you want to do. The more time between starting, the more time for you to create an excuse. Second, break your day. This works best for people with regular work or who are studying. Break your day in parts by some actions. Here is my example. After my morning routine running plus studying, I take long coffee break, 20 to 30 minutes long, and I just drink my coffee and maybe like look at some social media. There is nothing active, nothing that requires me to focus and put in actual effort. This way I have a break before the actual working day starts. Then after my job ends at 6 p.m., I immediately take shower. After the shower, I feel fresh, more energized and ready to do something more than just lay in bed feeling exhausted after all the things that I did during the day. I noticed that showers do help the best to break your day, to get back some energy and to wash away sleepiness and slumber you might feel. Also, it is indirectly helped my sleeping habits because before when I used to shower right before bed, I went for a shower, washed away sleepiness, tiredness that I felt that will help me to go to sleep. And then after the shower, I used to just lay in bed and think, when will I fall asleep? This way I have two positive outcomes. I am more productive if I break the day this way and I sleep better. By dividing your days, you separate your personal time from your working hours. It helps you have more energy and motivation to actually do something for yourself. And this way it feels like you have three small days during one long day. Two for yourself, one for work, instead of having one that is dedicated to work. Third tip, take showers. When you are feeling super lazy, when you don't want to do anything, when you feel like you don't have any energy, any power, you are just not in the mood completely under the weather, go and take shower. You will feel fresh, full of energy. It can really help you to have this power to do something else rather than just laying in bed. This taking shower can go hand in hand with taking a walk. So you switch it up one time, try to go for a walk, one time try to take shower and see what's working best for you. The next, put your phone away. Try to get out every distraction possible. Turn your phone off or put it somewhere away where you can grab it easily and access it just by reaching your hand. Turn off any notification. If you can put your phone in the separate room because you're waiting on some important information, at least put your phone screen down. This way it is less tempting to check it out and see what's going on in there. The fifth part, if you want a reality slap like me, set a timer when you're starting doing something. If you set this timer, for example, for 30 minutes or for an hour, after 10 or 15 minutes, more likely your hand will automatically reach for your phone or your mind starts to wander and look for distractions. This shows how bad our ability to focus really is. So every time you try to do something, set a timer and be intentional with focusing on your work during the time before the timer goes off. When you start to feel itchy and want to reach for your phone, start thinking about something completely different. Intentionally put yourself back to work and try to focus on it. This way you will train your ability to focus better. Create routines not a to-do list. When we're creating to-do list, we write waking up at 6 a.m., going for a run at 6.30, running till 7 a.m. So what do we do when we wake up at 7 a.m.? We skip completely our running in the morning. What we need to do instead, not to create to-do list, but routine. After I wake up, I do A, B, C, D in those particular orders. So even if you woke up later, you still do your routine every step of the way. And when you plan your habits in the way that one habit is followed or triggered by another, it's 
easier to stuck to them, it's easier to implement new habits in your routine. It can be called habit stacking. That is one of the greatest key from the book Atomic Habits. With habit stacking, the end of one habit triggering the beginning of the next one, and it's easier to follow your routine. Declutter, keep everything clean and organized. When my room or my desk is a mess, I find it so hard to concentrate and to do at least anything. All I want to do in those moments is also lay in bed and don't even look at all of this mess. The less stuff you have at home, the easier it is to organize everything. So declutter, put everything you didn't use for six months or for a year in a separate box in some part of your wardrobe so you don't reach it, don't see it ever. You will have more space like this. It will be easier with the cleaning later. And always try to put everything back in places where it belongs. Uh, try to wash dishes right after you ate. Don't pile it up so your home is more cleaned and organized and there is no mess in it like there will be no mess in your head. Do the opposite. When you feel extremely lazy, unmotivated, sad, depressed and all you want to do is lay, do the opposite. When you feel this way, do the opposite to what you want to do. You want to lay, go for a walk, turn up some music and start dancing to it. We all sit too much before our computers or our phones. We don't move our body enough. And because we don't move, we don't have any energy to move and to do anything and it's just like this cycle to have energy to be more productive more happy less lazy you need to move because movement creates energy please don't ever spend all your weekends in your bed because in the end you know you will feel much worse than you felt at friday evening the last Thing. I said it before, but it's really important, so it also belongs in here. Pay more attention to how you organize your space. Disciplined people are not necessarily somebody with the greater power of will, with greater motivation. No, they are just somebody who knows how to better organize their space, so it is easier for them to follow healthy habits and to quit unhealthy ones. I came across this idea one or two years ago in the book Atomic Habits, and it made so much sense to me back then that I didn't implemented right away and it makes more sense now because it is working for over a year now. I'll add up a few examples. Want to drink more water? Put the bottles of glasses of water everywhere you sit, work or rest. Always forget to put hand cream, put tubes in your every working space so you can easily grab it and apply it. Every time you want to build some healthy habit, before you do anything, try to think how you can organize your space at home, how you can organize your phone or your laptop in the way that it will be easier for you to do this. When I was learning English, I used to write new words on the mirror and every time I'm getting up or every time I pass by this mirror, I will repeat those words till they stuck with me forever. Another example with learning language, teach your phone to English, start to read everything in English, start to watch videos in English, listen to music in English. So basically everything you consume, your every content piece, your surrounding, everything is in English. When your every surrounding, every space you use screams for you to do this habit, you will do it. You will do it, you will master and it will become much easier. That's it for now on discipline, how to become a more more disciplined. If you have any tips, drop them. See you later. Stay healthy and happy. Bye bye.